Hello and welcome to Get to Know Science. This video is about the heart. All our body cells need to be supplied with things like oxygen and glucose in order to do their jobs. Therefore, they need a transport system to supply their needs and to remove their waste products. This function is carried out by the circulatory system. It consists of the heart, the blood vessels and the blood. And in this video, we're going to be concentrating on the heart. We and all other warm-blooded organisms have what's called a double circulation system. Blood circulates between the heart and lungs and also between the heart and the rest of the body. Let's take a closer look. So you could start anywhere but let's start here with the heart pumping blood to the lungs. So the heart is pumping deoxygenated blood to the lungs and this is blood with little oxygen in it so it's pumped to the lungs and at the lungs the blood will pick up more oxygen and then it flows this way back to the heart so you notice it's now red and oxygenated which means it has plenty of oxygen in it the heart then pumps the oxygenated blood around the body the oxygen goes to the cells the cells use the oxygen and now the blood is deoxygenated and flows back to the heart and then the whole cycle starts again. So the heart has a key role in all of this and it basically acts as a double pump. Its structure is perfect for pumping blood to the lungs and the body. So let's take a closer look at the heart. So blood enters the top chambers of the heart which are called atria. So this is the right atrium and this is the left atrium. Now you might think, well hang on, why is it the wrong way around? Why is the right on the left and the left on the right? Well, diagrams are always drawn so that it looks like you're looking at someone else's heart. So that person is standing in front of you and this is their right side and this is their left side and you're looking directly into their heart. So that's why it looks as if the right is on the left and the left is on the right. So blood enters the heart through these top chambers which are called atria. Blood coming into the right atrium through the vena cava is deoxygenated blood from the body. Blood coming into the left atrium through the pulmonary vein is oxygenated blood coming from the lungs. Now the atria contract together and force blood down into the ventricles. And you'll notice these things here, these are valves and they stop the blood from going the wrong way, upwards. They make sure that blood can only flow downwards from the atrium to the ventricle and not the wrong way. So the ventricles then contract. The right ventricle will force the deoxygenated blood to the lungs through the pulmonary artery. So the right ventricle will pump the deoxygenated blood through the pulmonary artery and that goes to the lungs. And the left ventricle will pump blood through the aorta to the rest of the body. Again, notice the valves which we have to stop blood flowing the wrong way. They only allow blood to travel the correct way and they don't let blood travel back down these blood vessels. Also, notice how the wall of the left ventricle is thicker. That's because it needs to generate much more force to pump blood all the way around the whole body. So it needs to be more muscular on the left hand side. And the heart is mostly made of muscle. And the heart itself needs to be supplied with blood so that those muscles can contract and it's supplied with blood by the coronary arteries and there's lots of them and they have lots of different names but they supply the heart or the heart muscles with a blood supply to keep them contracting. Now the timing of each heartbeat is synchronized by a group of cells in the right atrium called the pacemaker. The pacemaker cells send out a perfectly timed electrical impulse which tells the heart muscles when to contract and the pacemaker cells are 
up here in the right atrium. Now sometimes the pacemaker needs replacing with an artificial one which can be used to correct irregularities in the heartbeat and also the valves can be replaced either with mechanical valves or biological ones from different organisms. Okay so this video was about the heart I hope it was helpful make sure you like comment and subscribe and share and I'll see you all in the next video thanks for watching